Evansville, Indiana. Responding to an urgent call, police officers arrive at the church parking lot. What they find is baffling. A car is circling the lot, backwards, and without a driver. A woman attending services thought she had put her car in park, but she actually left it in reverse. And then when she stepped out, the car knocked her down and started doing circles in reverse in the parking lot. Luckily, the woman isn't hurt. But the police still have to deal with a very serious problem. How do they pull over an unmanned car? The tank is full. And at this rate, it will take at least three and a half days for the vehicle to run out of gas. After careful consideration, the cops devise a bold strategy. Officer Tony Hartweck approaches the car from inside the circle and smashes in the rear window with a crowbar. Then Officer Joe Fraser steps in to try to unlock the door. That one don't work, huh? Let me just dive in there. But the lock won't budge. After several unsuccessful attempts, Fraser is breathless and calls it quits. That's when Hartweck takes over but he still can't get the door open. So he comes up with another plan. Hartwick climbs onto the roof and slowly inches his way towards the open door. Keep that door open. Hold that door open. Then the brave cop tries to lower himself into the driver's seat. Finally, he does it. Hartwick stops the car, removes the keys, and breathes a huge sigh of relief. That's why you get the big bucks. <laughs> These veteran officers thought they'd seen it all, but this low-speed chase through a church parking lot is one they'll never forget. In 13 years, this is the wildest ride I've had. 